The following video will go through the family Scorpanidae, which have an odd shape and are camouflaged. In the Scorpanidae family, there are scorpion fish. These are recognizable by their well camouflaged body color and wide upward facing mouths. Lionfish are also in the Scorpanidae family and can be recognized by their extremely elongated fin rays. The family Scorpinidae, or scorpionfish, are recognizable by their round and long body. They have very wide mouths and often have tassels around the mouth. Scorpionfish are around 20 centimeters long in average, but some species can grow to a maximum length of 50 centimeters. They are found resting on coral normally, as their diet consists of other fish, which they catch by ambush feeding. They are solitary and extremely well camouflaged. We will go through a few Scorpanidae species and highlight the main characteristics. The first species is Rhinopius eschimieri. These are a bright purple color and can usually be found next to soft coral of the same color. Next is Parascorpina mozambica. These are recognizable by their long antenna looking appendages above the eyes. This is Scorpionotus minor. This is one of the smallest scorpionfish, growing to a max length of 5 centimeters. Next up is Scorpionotus oxycephala. These vary in color, but are distinguished by many frills and tassels around the underside of the mouth. This is Stebostopesis cyanostigma. These vary between red and dark brown, with white and yellow spots over the body. The eyes are noticeably larger in this species. The last species is Tianianotus striacanthus, the leaf scorpion fish. Colors differ, but it is often a single color with a huge dorsal fin looking somewhat like a mohawk. It also has a dark stripe through the eye. The family Scorpenidae also contain lionfish, which are recognizable by their extremely long fin rays. They are approximately 20 centimeters long. However, some species can grow up to 45 centimeters. You will often find them hovering near the coral, searching for small fish to ambush. They are solitary. However, many use the same cave or barrel sponge as refuge. Fish in this family are very brightly colored. We will go through a few lionfish species and highlight the main characteristics. First up is Dendrocurus brachypteris the dwarf lionfish. These have a reddish body with vague brown bars and very rounded pectoral fins. Next up is Pterios miles. These have red brown to black bars with white lines between. They have long feather-like banded pectoral fin rays with dark spots. This is Pterios mombase. These are reddish with white fan-like pectoral fins with dark red spots. These spots tend to form semicircular bands. Next up is Terios radiata. These have very wide red brown bars with thin white lines between. They also have a horizontal band on the tail base. Their pectoral fins are very long and filamentous, with connecting tissue only near the base of them. Next up is Terios antenata. These are pale with red-brown bands of varying width and intensity. The whitish, fan-like pectoral fins usually have a few large dark blue spots and very long filamentous rays. And lastly, we have Dendrocurus zebra. These are red-brown with dark stripes radiating on the pectoral fins. They also have two white spots on the caudal peduncle, or tail base. Quiz time! All of the species in this video have been a part of the Scorpanidae family. The question is, can you do to the species level? Pause the video to see how you do. Are you ready? If the differences between the species are confusing, feel free to go back to the descriptions of each species earlier in the video. Thanks for watching. Check out the next video to continue your fish identification.